Hello friends and welcome to the Harry the BFD Valentine's Day special. Hosted by me, Harry the BFD, a dateless loser, several years running. <laughs> so to all you dateless losers out there, you got a friend in me. I feel your pain. Or some of you, I don't feel your pain because you have no pain, sort of like me. So I guess I don't feel your pain if you're having pain because I don't feel pain in being single. I like being single. Ah, now that I've gone on that little fast speaking thing. Now, as you've all probably noticed, I'm wearing the red. Red for Valentine's Day, red for love. And in case you haven't noticed, this is a robe. Yes, I have pants on. But it is a robe because how much more romantic can you get than having a red robe? Now, well, it's very easy to figure out who doesn't have a date on Valentine's Day. Mostly because if you ever see somebody who has a date, who has a girlfriend and or boyfriend, notice and or, who has one of those, you'll notice them going around holding hands all happy and kissy and huggy and all that. And also, if you don't see them together, at least one of them will have the gigantic bag with all the candies and the chocolate and the flowers and the teddy bears. The giant teddy bears that are bigger than most humans. But us singles, you don't see us with those things. What do you see us with? You see us with bags of random things that we give out to other people. You know, our pockets are full of things that, you know, the little valentines or candy that the three people who actually thought about it gave to us. But that is why on Valentine's Day, I cater around bees, Reese's. Because what better to give to somebody on Valentine's Day than chocolate? And actually, you know what? I think that I'm going to give you guys some chocolate. Here. I think you're all behind the camera. Now that's going to take some doing. But another Valentine's Day treat. Because you all know how much I love them. Honey roasted cashews. Always have to have a supply of these on any day that involves love. Or food. What holidays do involve food? I need to find them. Start celebrating those big. But of course, like I was saying, Valentine's Day is very special. You get to see people at their happiest. Couples that usually don't fight on Valentine's Day. And many couples are made on Valentine's Day because... What better time to use some cheesy pickup line to get a girl to like you than on the day of celebrating love. But do you know what I really don't like about Valentine's Day? All the people who complain that they don't like Valentine's Day. Sorry. I spend most of the time during Valentine's Day hearing people whine and complain about, oh my god, I don't have a day, who cares? But that seems a little insensitive of me, so I would just like you all to know. Even if you do whine about it, I still love you. I love you, especially on the day, celebrating love. Because I'd like to celebrate things. Because remember, celebrate good times, come on. Now, everybody, go listen to that song. Remember it. Now. You know what? Celebrate every type of love. Celebrate the love between a couple, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend. Celebrate the love between spouses. Celebrate the love between siblings, which is completely different from the other types of love. Love between siblings is I lo hate you, yet I love you. I have to live with you. But also, a very important kind of love to me. Celebrate the love between friends. Because if you can't love somebody as a friend, then you shouldn't be able to love at all. And on that slightly happy, slightly sad note, I say, Harry the BFD has left the doghouse. I love ya, and goodbye.